Good Thursday morning, everyone. Meteorologist Stone Schaefer here with your October 10th one minute forecast. Highs today, upper 60s to the northwest, all the way to the upper 80s in the south central. Areas like Crosby, that cold front's already reached you. Cold front's rolling through Divide County right now, so keeps you a little bit cooler. Don't have as much time to get that warmer air in uh, to get you up into the 80s, so a little bit cooler, but still above average in those areas. Wind trends are going to pick up as well. We look upwards to 10 to 15, maybe 10 to 20 miles per hour throughout the rest of the afternoon into the night. Should calm down by tomorrow morning. Obviously, keep an eye on this, especially in the south central. A little warmer, a little drier there. Uh, these heavy winds could be a fire that there's a special weather statement in Corson County. We also have a G4 Northern Lights event uh, that could happen. The CME uh, injected a couple days ago is making contact with Earth at, at this point in the day. We're actually seeing G1 ratings already. Uh, so pretty heavy sign that we're going to see some Northern Lights chances through the night into tomorrow morning. Then Friday night, the biggest thing for us is going to be cloud cover. It does look like cloud cover will be in and out the rest of the afternoon. Get a little bit heavier about sunset time. But there will be pockets where you're going to stay clear. It's not going to be totally overcast for the rest of the night into the night. Right around midnight, there's a signal that cloud cover could move away, especially in areas like Williston to the northwest. So if you're someone that's up there to the north, you may want to move a little bit farther west, get it a little bit earlier if this cloud cover does clear out. Uh, Friday night, though, does look like we could have more cloud cover that we'll have to be battling to see the northern lights. Precision cast shows we do have some light rain chances uh, through the afternoon. Uh, very light if anything does fall. We move into Friday. It's another dry day up until about midday. Then there'll be another light rain chance. We'll see how this develops. Some models don't even have this rain, so it could end up missing us. And then Saturday, some rain out there to the far east, but otherwise we're staying dry. 10-day temperature trends, well, it trends us in the 60s, 50s, and 70s through next week.